How do I how do I dial that number that you just put up? Fuck. I lost it. Um so I started doing it a year ago. This We're sorry. The number you dialed is invalid. I did that, man. Just type in your whole phone number if you want me to call you. Nine one one. There are some incredibly smart-ass motherfuckers in here today, and you know what? I support it, because I'd be doing the same thing, too. If I sign on to Justin TV and there's, like, this little fucking blonde kid I'd never heard of before just singing songs and being a dick, I'd, I'd just, I'd be like, fucking call 911. So I was wondering, this is from Hazel, who wins a signed poster and sticker. I keep holding up the sticker, because, like I told you, I threw my poster over there, but it's a big poster of me. And I sign them for you. Hazel asked, I was wondering if the choruses in your songs are recorded separately through the song each time for every chorus. Okay, so I think what you're saying is what is common, especially in pop music nowadays, is let's say you have a chorus. Because some of you guys don't realize this, right? But let's say you have a pop chorus like uh, Cheater of the Year. This is the part when you disappear. It's a cliche breakup fear. Yeah, we're D O N E. Tell me how it feels to be the cheater of the year. And this is the part when you shed a tear. Okay, so when we record those into Pro Tools, a lot of the times, to make it easier for the singers, we'll take that vocal, copy it, paste it, paste it. Um, so, first, second, third chorus. So, you don't have to re sing it every time. Um, I don't actually like to do that on all of my music. I'll do it on my demos a lot of the times. When I go into the real studio, a lot of the producers will force me to sing a little bit differently for each chorus. We copy and paste the harmonies sometimes. Um, or things like, you know, D O N E, where we do a bunch of background vocals and there's a chant. We'll paste that. Or sometimes we'll paste octaves. Like parts that don't have to be super personalized. It's totally cool to paste. Some people hate that. Some people are adamantly opposed to it. I actually am like, dude, there's nothing cool about spending an extra three days on a song just so you think your guitar part that's the same exact note sounds a little bit different. It's like, let's just fucking finish the song and go play some shows. Um, that being said, like, I will try to do a different lead vocal every time. I mean, even in Cheater of the Year, which is a pretty straightforward song, you know, it's like, in the pond, you should a tear. In the last chorus, it goes, In the pond, you should a tear. You know? That world be so. It's like, you know, plank, prank call this person. That's my brother. Okay, we can prank. I'm down. I'm down for a prank call. His name is Tony. Oops. Hello? Hi, is Tony there? Uh, well, this is a police matter. Is uh, Do you know when he's going to be home? Um, not till five, maybe four. Oh, okay, uh, well, we may just have to pop by his work, if that's okay. Okay. Um, all right, thank you. You bet. No good, man. No good. Um, so that's, uh, that's it. Sometimes we'll do it separately. Sometimes I've finished producing, um... Can I teach you Boy Meets Girl on guitar? Sure. Can you play a Fall Out Boy song? What is that song? It's a good song, right? That Trying to tell you anything. Oh, Sugar, we're going on swinging? Sorry, jeez. You know, it's hard to know every song ever written. Um, I just, uh, I just produced a song for this band from Vegas called The Cab. They're fucking amazing. You should check them out. And they're on Twitter and stuff. Prank call my friend. Okay, in Lithuania. I will do that. She's in Lithuania? Fuck it. Let's call some Lithuania. So, that's a lot of phone numbers. It's a lot of numbers. Look at that. It's like 10 billion numbers. So, in the meantime, Jeanette, who, oh shit, we're ringing. 
don't call random people anymore. Yo, should we see if I can download the Justin TV app? She's not gonna answer. All right, so anyway, let's get back to this. Jeanette, who wins a sticker and a signed poster just for asking a question, uh, asked me if I were reborn as an inanimate object and you had to pick from the following two, would you be a drumstick or a guitar pick? Definitely a guitar pick. Drumsticks are constantly smashed on things. Um... Guitar picks are gently strummed, and uh, I would rather be gently strummed than smashed on things. Plus, guitar picks get put in people's mouths, which is a very warm and delicate place to be. So, good question, though. Also, Stephen, who wins a poster, and we're at 1,500 people, very happy to say that, uh, asks, where is this application, Justin TV? He at allow... Yeah. Look at that. That's so cool, man. Look at this. If I were reborn as an inanimate object... And That's weird. I should just stay here. A drumstick or a guitar pick? Definitely a guitar pick. Weird. Drumsticks are Very weird. constantly smashed on things. Well, anyway, if you have an iPad or an iPhone, make sure you pick up a... Uh, uh, the Justin TV, uh, the the app, because it's fucking cool, and you can record yourself and then look over it. Uh, have you given away the guitar yet? No, that's a good question. So if does, if anyone's watching, whether or not you like me or hate me or you like music or my, hate my music, um, if you want, uh, you can get the uh, uh, free Taylor guitar. Which I mean, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Taylor guitars, but they're basically the best. Uh, I use them on everything. Let me just, uh, here, copy. I'm going to paste the link into the, uh, there it is. So if you click on that, you can, uh, you can go win a free guitar, and it was signed by me. If you hate me, you can, you can, you know, brush it off. Uh, any more, uh, Stephen, who wins a, a poster, asks, any more information regarding possible tour dates this summer? Um, well, summer, I believe, officially starts June 21st. Um, but I believe most people uh, in the United States, at least, mark the beginning of summer uh, by Memorial Day, which is this upcoming Monday. So, summer in the United States, summer is often fixed as the period between the summer solstice, June 20th or 21st, depending on the year, to the fall equinox. Okay, that's a little bit of Wikipedia for you. What up? So, uh, it's a summer date. So, between the summer solstice and the fall equinox, my plan is to spend as much time as possible traveling all around the United States promoting my song, Pumpkin Pie, at radio. It's the song that goes like this. Jamie, I thought she was the one who she played me. Just like 21, then Katie. I couldn't get enough. She was just like Pumpkin Pie. You know that song. Lately, I want to go to sleep with the same girl, the same girl every night. It's G, D, A minor, C. But the whole guitar is tuned down a half step. Oh my God, is this Justin Bieber? I've got Bieber fever. That's what Lost in the Shuffle said. Yes, this is Justin Bieber. Hi guys, I'm Justin Bieber. I just look nothing like him and I've gotten a lot older. My hair is no longer brown. Um, but if you really like me, Justin Bieber, please send money. Um, right now you can just PayPal it to me. And uh, yeah. Baby, baby. How's that song go? Hold on, let me, let me. Do I have him in my iTunes library? I got Justin Timberlake. Hey. All right, so anyway, um, 
Got one last question from Evan.questions at Gmail. And then we're going to go, uh, <laughs> Lost in the Shuffle has received a 10-minute timeout. That just came up on my screen. That's who asked me that. What a bummer for Lost in the Shuffle. I didn't even know you could get timeouts in fucking the internet. That's hardcore, man. That's like, have you seen Date Night movie when she starts counting down and they go, is she counting down for real? Um, so, I know, he got a timeout. The last question, are you part of any charities at the moment? That is a fantastic question, and uh, the answer is yes, I am. Uh, I'm part of a bunch of charities. I did, I, I like to, I always like to raise as much money and awareness for autism. So, it's a very, very important cause to me. Um, so, I support Autism Speaks, Autism Now, um, Cure Autism Now, or there, there, there's one other, there's one other um, and all, all four of them, I'm sorry that I don't know the exact names, but uh, all four of them are all amazing. They do, like, different things. So, some of them try to raise awareness, some of them try to raise money to help uh, get a call, like, a, figure out what the cause of autism is. Um, others try to find a cure. Uh, so it's really cool. And then uh, in, in Baltimore, Maryland, there's actually a new agency opening up for uh, adults with special needs called Itinerist. So I try to raise as much awareness and money for them as possible because um, we really have an epidemic right now of people with autism who are going to be reaching adulthood for the first time since this newfound boom. And uh, it's going to be really hard to figure out what to do with them. You know, not everybody is fortunate enough to be able to afford group care and things like that. So, you know, it's good to raise awareness. So, good questions. If you want to win a sign poster for free, it's very easy. Just write an email, evan.questions at gmail.com. And, uh, yeah, the pumpkin pie video, which I'm not really allowed to talk too much about, which I won't. If you are smart, you can search around the internets and find things about it. But I'm going to be filming that video this week. Pretty cool, right? So, by the end of this week, I will have been finished filming the pumpkin pie video. And we have filmed between five and six awesome like web video uh, clips for you guys. And they're fucking awesome. I wouldn't lie. like They're really good. Um, one of them involves the police, a power saw, vandalism, near-death experience, and the village people. That's just one. So imagine if that, right? Like if that's the fucking bar, imagine. Um, please don't curse, Evan. I love you and I'm not down with that. All right, I'm sorry for cursing. Uh... So, let's see. You want to learn how to play Cheater of the Year? Okay. Cheater of the Year, song on my album. Let me teach you guys. Take your guitar. You want to drop it. Watch. Very easy to do. For anyone who's even ever played guitar, just make sure that the, t the third string... It's actually the fourth string, but one, two, three, right? Make sure this one and this one match. They're both going to be Ds. Now this is a half step down, so it's actually a uh, D flat or C sharp, depending on what key you're playing in. So you're just going to do that. The chords are B minor, G, D, A. So, and you just strum it. You told your friends, you told my friends. That you got drunk and spent the night with some guy you didn't know at all. Alright, so the pre-chorus, you're going to go play this E, fret it on the second fret. So it's E, fret it on the second fret, D, which is open, A, but you're going to add in these. So it's... harmonize it. Right? And that's the uh, dominant seven. F sharp minor. This is the part when you disappear, right? So that's how it goes. 